What is up, y'all? It is Kevin Walter, and I am here my first official dribbling workout, man. Let's go. I'm super excited. Everybody keeps asking me for workouts, dribbling advice, what they should be doing in these quarantine times. Here it goes, man. I know I took kind of long, but we're going to grind anyway. All I need y'all to do for me is just to like this video, comment what y'all think, some ideas y'all want to see in the future, subscribe, turn the post notifications on, and we're going to get it, man. I just need y'all to pick up a ball. You don't need no gym, no court, no goals, none of that. Just a place to dribble, and you need to have faith in the work, man, that we're going to put in. It's really going to be some really great ball control today. Tighten up those handles, something you should be doing daily, man. Today's Grind the Mars Blessing. Let's go. So here we go, man. Low taps, left hand, right hand, three sets each, 15 seconds. So on some of the drills we're going to be doing, most of the time it's going to be timed, then some of them going to be reps. So most of the time when we're warming up, I always got a clock on. I'm watching that thing wind down. I tell everybody I train, you should be able to dribble five minutes straight in this position without getting tired, without your back hurting. Got to get used to dribbling every day, man. It's going to hurt in the beginning, but just work as much as you can. If you can go back and forth and back and forth, all the sets, try and make yourself do that, man. Push yourself to be better. It's going to hurt, but that's part of the process. All right, y'all, next thing we got, the figure eight taps, man. I love this drill. Make sure you're keeping those fingers spread all the way. Really build that ball control, get a feel for the ball. If you gotta look down, that's fine, man. We're gonna progress into it. If you can look up, make sure you lose the ball a couple times on those. All right, y'all, next thing we got some double taps, man. Ta -ta 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 yes, sir, let's go. So make sure you look up as much as you can, tap the ball as quick as you can, get that rhythm. All right, knee pounds, man. Really driving that ball through the ground. Nine times out of 10 people don't, don't lose the ball dribbling it straight down in drills, but for us, we're gonna be trying to break the ground, man. Make sure y'all pushing yourselves on these, man. For three sets, 15 seconds each hand. I see y'all grinding, man. Right now, I know them arms starting to get tired, so y'all gotta keep pushing. If you can't work through each set on these, that'll be really tough. you start to feel the burn on those, man. Let's go. Let's go. Keep the burn going, y'all. Got some shoulder dribbles right here into some taps. I call these slams. So we're gonna go three slams each side. A slam is five dribbles at the shoulder right into some low taps that we've been doing in the beginning. Soon as the ball hits the ground for the taps, y'all, don't let it come up at all above the ankle. Just instantly go into the taps. Get above the shoulder, it's gonna burn, but it's all worth it, man. Y'all keep grinding, I love this, man. Keep grinding. All right, so here we go. Next thing we got is them V dribbles. I love this, man. It's one of my favorite drills to do with stationary ball handling. A lot of progression in this. I see a lot of trainers use it. My favorite trainer, OG, Phil Handy, Lakers assistant coach, uses this a lot. So. I know it works, man. Everybody knows this works. It's a really common drill. So learn these, man, side to side, 15 seconds each, three sets each hand. And we're gonna progress over to the side too. All right, y'all, so on the side, we're gonna rock it. You know, a lot of people like to put their feet together on these, but for us, we're gonna keep them shoulders as straight as we could. We're gonna lean over slightly. We're gonna keep our feet still wide. We're gonna pull it, push, pull it, push. It's gonna be really great side V dribbles. If you can't do these, Take a couple dribbles and then just do them one at a time. Just progression, y'all. Keep working. Don't worry about going backwards to go forward, man. Slingshot. Next thing we got is them stationary crossovers. Bang, boom, 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 boom. Make sure y'all rocking that. Try not to be moving a lot of shoulders. Another thing I told y'all we're working on ball control. Straight ball control. I don't want inside the knees. I don't want quick, 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 quick. I want you swinging it outside your frame constantly through the ground as hard as you can, man. Next thing we got between the legs, man. No scissors. We're not gonna just go through one. We're going through both. Learning that pocket. I got great progression to this one right here too. As you can see, I lost the ball, man. I'm always pushing, man. Push, push, push. It's okay to mess up. Just make sure you stop that time though, because you gotta get all the reps you need. Next thing you got is the behind the back. Pushing it outside that frame. You don't want to tap it. You don't want to sit too low. I know a lot of people mess up on the behind the backs. So make sure you're throwing it right under that butt, man. Here we go. Next thing we got is these behind wraps. If you don't know how to do these, we're gonna progress into it, take you three dribbles, and then you wrap. For those who are already at this level, make sure as soon as that ball comes through, you wrap it all the way around, finding that angle, and just continue to do these on the front. Front goal might be a little bit more complicated for most, but it's all good, it's a part of the process we're gonna be learning. So as you can see, I mess up a little bit here, but just get it right, always work, 15 seconds each side on those. Next two. thing we're working on is these skip dribbles or glide dribbles. And every time I go over, I want to try and focus on putting that front foot forward. It's just how I'm about to attack them. And on these, we want to go for reps. I'm doing 10 reps, three sets, same thing. I'm pounding in between them and then crossing over. Next, we're going to go between the legs, same thing, taking a dribble in between. Make sure I'm looking at, like I'm in a 
position to attack each time. So take a dribble, glide over, looking like you're about to attack. Then we're gonna progress over to the behind the backs. Each of these are three sets, 10 reps each. Three sets, 10 reps. On the behind, you wanna skip that foot. The outside foot goes towards the inside foot. It's a really great progression to a skip behind the backs. All right, next thing we got are these double crosses in front. It's gonna be setting us up for ball control and it's also a really great move to have in your bag right here. So on these, you wanna make sure that you drop in that knee each time. On most double crosses, you wanna drop that knee. Knee control really sells it. You wanna throw that shoulder down also, get the ball as wide as you can, keep it tight, sell it with the head too, and wrap it right back, boom. All right, y'all, next double move we're gonna be working on is that between the legs, man, that through drag. So, still dropping that knee, making sure that that head and the shoulders sail. And on this, make sure you get that front foot forward each time, scissoring it, getting it back to a square stance on those three dribbles. You make sure you get them 10 reps in each side, pushing yourself. Every time you mess up a little bit, if you lose the ball, don't count it. Next thing we got is that behind the <laughs> Never mind. Next thing we got is that behind the back, man. Double behind the back, same thing, getting that foot forward, getting it back even. Selling it with the shoulders, the head, and then the knee drop. Wanna do these 10 times too, each side. This is the most challenging one on this. So the behind the back, I really love it, man. I guess cause you just can't see the ball at all. So it's really like a test your handles, man. All right, y'all, here we go. Last drill of the day. So I know that muscles fatigued. I know you hurting, but we gotta burn out. It's always good to finish with a burnout, y'all. Let me explain what we're doing right here. We're gonna take a dribble, gonna go in, Snatch it between, we're gonna do a side V dribble. Just reversed, drag it back, snatch it, take a pound, man. We back to the beginning. I need 10 reps of those each side with no mess ups, man. If you can do that, you are amazing. What I need y'all to do though, is help me name these things. I haven't came up with a name yet. I didn't want to name it after myself. I want the whole world to do these one day, man. So help me get up a name, comment down below. I'm gonna post this on Instagram. Need everybody to go. Help me pick a name, man. I'm about to pick the best name, I think. Whoever comes up with the best one, you just get to help me name it, man. I need your help. So on these, make sure y'all tag me on Instagram. I don't care if it's a post on your story, whatever. Tag me in it so I can repost it and we can spread this all over the world, man. It's a really great burnout. And y'all gonna feel it, man. Appreciate y'all. Today's Grind Tomorrow's Blessing.